Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to part three of Clear Lake video series. I wanna make a quick announcement before we get this video started. I wanna just let you guys know about a pretty cool giveaway that you can enter. So the giveaway is a trip with this guy right here. Yes, you probably know him, that is Chad Hoover. And he's doing the giveaway, this is not me. So he's doing a giveaway to Racine, Wisconsin, a fishing trip, two days of fishing and filming, three nights of lodging, return, airfare paid for, and an awesome bag of goodies. So you can enter to win that prize package. All you gotta do is click the link in the description below, which links you to Chad's video. You gotta comment on his video and subscribe to his channel, and you are automatically entered to win that amazing prize package. So before you get this video started, go do that. I mean, not only is that prize package gonna be drawn on August 12th, but every week up until then they'll be doing weekly giveaways including boats Yakima stuff and other awesome prizes So it's free to do it's gonna take two minutes of your time and you can have a chance to uh, go fish with Chad in Racine, Wisconsin But anyways today's video is part three of Clear Lake. It was a uh, interesting day to say the least It was a fun day nonetheless, so I uh, hope you guys enjoy Good morning. Good morning. That's Sandy. Nice to meet you, Greg. Nice to meet you. a frog? You got a real frog in there. It's oh. just a baby. You just turned into a frog. I found out, you know, that Stephen said food him a mealworm. Uh -huh. The lady at the pet store yesterday said that the mealworms actually, unless you crush their head, they can eat the frog from the inside out. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's cool. These are the Clear Lake specials right here, the huts. I oh, know. Which one was that tulip perch? This one? Yep, right there. It's cool. Oh, there we go. This one right here, this is Tina. She's really nice. Hello, Tina. Don't pet Peanut. Don't pet Peanut? <laughs> no. He's yeah. freaking ass. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crank it, it's true. The green button? And everybody Thank you has. very much. Appreciate it. Everybody has. It. Hopefully it's on. Thanks. Clear Lake. Part three, ladies and gents, 5 a.m. We just stopped at the awesome lake port bait and tackle shop, picked up a few custom little paint jobbers. Stuff, you know, you can't get anywhere else. Remember a pro saying that one time, you want to find all the best baits, the best colors, you go to the local local tackle shop of the lake and you'll figure out a lot more than you, you would otherwise. Looks like we're gonna have to contend with a little bit of wind today, but maybe that'll help the bite. Right here? Are you serious? Is it blowing the mat? One. Man, what a gift. Thank you, sir. If I catch one. <laughs> what are they? Are those bass? Maybe the mega school's right here. Oh, I thought that was my frog. <laughs> Had my eye off of it. What is going on in this mat? Crappie? They're feeding on something though. Yeah. I think they're carp spawning. I think there's a carp in here too, yeah. Not that one. came off, but he's under the tree. God. I drug him out from under that tree. 100% the bass under here. 100%. He's got to present our bait to him. And the bite. Skipping a frog. Oh, that one right there, dang it. Little guy. Missed it. Jeez. I missed her. One of the two. Oh, oh my god, that was a giant! No! 
<laughs> that was not a little one. Man, I can't stay hooked up. Right now, the morning, they're so active, they're out and about. Dude, it's already 72 degrees here. Wow. Straight King 6XD, see how she does. There we go, I'm on. Alrighty, 6XD. Dude, I have a monster crappie. Monster crappie. What size that thing? All right, maybe that's a good sign, I don't know. There we go. Old trusty football jig. They're here. Clear Lake footballs. Literally every fish in this lake is a football, no matter what time of year. Thank you, sir. All right, I think that's a good sign. They're here too. I don't want to jinx it, but I think I think it's gonna go off here. Oh, that was so sick. Oh, God. Yes, sir. Another one. This could be a fun day. I thought I had a giant. Juan, I just thought I had a tank. I went from a very high to a very low in two seconds. Oh! What? Am I losing my mind? I feel like I'm getting, like, like they're fighting. <laughs> I swear, this wood is fighting. Thank you. Nice chunk. A little audience there. Man, this all looks so good. There's got to be one back here. Going to take the frog. Seriously? <laughs> uh -oh. I literally cannot put a fish in the boat today that I catch on a frog. That's a good sign though. This that little, little pocket right here, you can't, if you can see, that's the entryway. You can only get back here with a small boat, like a kayak. So probably doesn't see a lot of pressure. It's gonna be a tough cast, but I gotta get it between those two trees to get on the other side of it. And there's a branch in the middle. Oh, wow. First try. Pretty lucky. I should be rewarded with that cast. No? Oh, 
Oh my god, that's a giant. That's a giant, guys. Oh, is he still on there? Oh my god, he came off, I think. Oh my god. Are you serious? Oh my god. I do not know what's going on today with the frog. Just cannot stay hooked up. I usually have really good hookup ratio with this frog, the live target frog, just not today. Oh my god, it hurts. That was a big one. Dang. Oh yeah, there we go, thank you. Yes, finally got one on the frog in the boat. Goodness. Frog came right out too. Wasn't sure if there were fish back here, but there's at least one. Oh. What? Wow. Carbon fiber shaft just broke. That sucks. I've had this pedal for a long time. Bummer. All right, man. Ready to call it a day? Well, let's do it. Guys, that is going to do it for the video. That is going to do it for the Clear Lake series, this three video series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, comment below if you uh, enjoy videos like this where I take a trip and uh, kind of split it up into three videos. Overall, pretty good fishing. It was a little slower than I would hope, but uh, you know what? We caught some decent ones, and uh, unfortunately today lost a few giants on the frog. I don't know what was going on. Just couldn't stay hooked up. Over the past two days, I've had success consistently on two different baits and two different, I guess, patterns. A lot of my fish were shallow and in, in the cover, so we had to find a way to either drag them out or get to them. The first bait that I did a lot of damage with yesterday, not so much today, was the Strike King Hack Attack Jig. This was half ounce in Okeechobee we got a blue craw trailer, 15 pound sea guard, and this is fluorocarbon. We got a jig rod, high speed reel, flipping and pitching that around uh, targets, and it would draw a lot of those fish out. I get a lot of the bites on the fall, so that was definitely one of the staples for these past two days. The other bait, and the one that you guys are probably very familiar with, as it is my absolute favorite way to catch fish, as it is, I'm sure, a lot of your favorite ways to catch fish, but that is going to be the live target hollow body frog. Had my usual frog set up, 50 pound braid. We have a 610 Denali lithium frog rod high speed reel shorter rod especially from the kayak for me personally just because i was making a lot of casts and almost all my fish under trees or in that thick cover and with a shorter rod and especially from the kayak you can get way more precise and accurate with your cast especially when you're skipping under there so that was definitely crucial for making those presentations and every so often i'd make a good cast and i'd get popped obviously a fun way to catch them but uh, we had a problem catching them today but those were the two baits that i had the most success with here at clear lake what a phenomenal fishery what a fun lake but as always thank you guys for watching and we'll see you later.